All right, hi Isabel. We're gonna make a quick, easy video for you this week. So you did really good work on hands separate from long, long ago. So what we'll do for this video is just put your hands together. Uh, so I'm gonna play it a little slower than the normal speed for sake of learning and maybe you can play it with me or um, just put your hands on the keys and tap the keys along with me if it's too difficult to play through with me. Um, or you can also use the video where you play just the left hand while I play both hands together and you play the right hand while I play both hands together and that will get you used to hearing both hands at the same time but only playing one and then you can slowly add the hands together that way. Okay, so just a couple different strategies to use the video. Okay, so set your hands in, left hands on C3, right hands on C5, a reminder that your right hand's gonna go to the open and the close, and then it's gonna eventually stretch the octave, and you're gonna stretch for the five chord down and some five sevens, but you're already prepared for that. Okay, here we go. Slow tempo. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and ready, go. So that would be the whole thing. Um, you can practice it in sections too. Um, so what I'd asked you to do in your lesson was uh, focus a lot on line three. So you don't have to get close up there. Um, I don't know why the video camera is getting so close up. We're gonna <laughs> do um, just one, one time on the uh, video with just line three and then you can rewind this so you're just practicing line three, and then we'll do just measures three and four, and uh, seven and eight. Those are the spots that we'll do. Okay, here we go, line three. One, and we're starting on the B in the left hand for the five chord. One, two, and ready, play line three. Before you do that, if you're practicing line three, please rewind and make sure you get through that at least three times good, okay? Then you can keep going. Now we're gonna say that you've already done line three at least three times successful together. You can do measures three and four this time. This part um, actually might challenge you right off the bat when you're playing the first line, just because you have to go down to the B for the five chord. So just be patient with yourself here. Here we go, measure three and four. One and two and ready, play now. Okay, so you can rewind and do that part good however many times you need. Uh, and then we'll go to measure seven and eight. One and two and ready, play and... Okay, and the end is pretty much... 
much the same. I don't think you'll need to practice that. Let's just do one last part and we'll finish this video. We'll do the first two measures. And then when you practice it, you can play the lines together too if you need. Here we go, measures one and two. Remember, we're opening and closing the right hand here. One and two and ready, play now. So rewind those little sections and then you can go back to the video I made at the very beginning which has the whole thing and then maybe you'll be ready to play along with it after you practice all these sections, okay? Have a great week and we'll look forward to seeing you next week, okay? Bye.